Hi guys, welcome back. Today, join me from the inside of the Yaris GR. Now, I've been waiting a very long time to get in this car, and this is literally the first time I've ever driven it. Uh, so this will be my initial reaction. It's quite a wet day, um, so I'm not gonna be going for it, but yeah, uh, it's a, there's a lot to take in right now. Where the heck do I start? Steering input and the gear changes as well. It all feels so tight. Everything just feels properly, properly sharp. I just love how planted and agile it feels. Um, the only thing I can compare it to is I, when I drove the Golf R, that was a, um, an all-wheel drive car, and that tended to feel a little bit heavy in the corners. It still feels really agile, but everything just feels so sharp. I mean, it's got plenty of sensors on it. It's just warning me there that I'm gonna hit the verge. Let's chuck it into, uh, into third and see how we go. Oh. <laughs> This, this is serious. This is proper serious. I think Amin said when he was in this before that this car is uncompromisingly fast. And yes, it only has 270 horsepower, which compared to super hatches is, uh, or super hot hatches is not that much, but you don't need a whole lot because this thing just goes. Okay, yeah, this is this is quite something. This is the circuit pack option, so it's got the dual differentials as well. So it's even more special than the normal Yaris GR, as if that wasn't cool enough. This isn't going to be a huge video. This is going to be a, a just an initial reaction to driving this car because this is literally the first time I've ever driven it. Um, and then I'll get Amin's reaction as well. But wow, this is something else. Oh my. <laughs> okay. Oh wow. This, yeah. This goes. This is seriously quick. I mean, yeah, people have already started modifying them, offer, offering modified packages for this car um, to up the power, but seriously, even completely stock, just this thing just hunkers down and goes. When I, when I first did my reveal, which I gained a load of subscribers to with the exclusive look at the Yaris GR, this thing was parked up in a showroom and me and the OEM Plus guys went and took a look at it. And that was my, and still is my most popular video to date on YouTube. And at that point I claimed that Toyota had upped the game or raised the bar. And many people were skeptical and said, what do you mean? You've never driven the car. But on paper, the Yaris GR was a, or looked to be, something special and then sure enough the press reviews came out and it's won quite a few awards since and it just goes to show that with the thought behind this car and with the input of Tommy Mackinnon and all the other wizards at Toyota they have come up with something that is really really quite special so I'm gonna shut up now I'm just gonna drive the car and enjoy it and then we're gonna see Amin's reaction in the future, I'll be doing a lot more videos on this car and a really comprehensive review on it. So if you want to watch that, then make sure you like and subscribe now and stay tuned. Cheers for watching. Shifter is uh, mechanical, clinical, love it. Okay, and what mode am I in? Normal. Let's leave it in normal. Let's go to track. Let's put it in track. Right, let's see. Right. Makes a lovely noise. It's a lot revier than I thought it would be being turbocharged, especially such a small engine. Just got to figure out how I can turn off the lane assist. It has got a lane assisted kind of uh, jobby on here. Never mind. I guess it's going to be on. Quite short gears, which I like. A lot of traction. 
lovely weight to the steering wheel as well. Gives me a lot of feedback. It's like there's no dead scent, there's no dead point in it. Uh, well, it feels very tight. It's one of those cars that within within f first few meters you straight away you feel it's very well sorted. It's uh, pointy, very pointy. Comes on boost, like just around 4K, just quite high up. I like that though. It makes you work through the gears. Yeah, this is fun. So we're in second gear now. 30 miles an hour. 40, 50, 60. Bear in mind I'm on a private road, so these speeds are absolutely fine to do around here. The front end. Front end's nice. The back end feels good though. Let's just see what it does around here. Yeah, there's some, um, I'm not gonna push this hard, but it feels like there's not, it doesn't wanna play. It doesn't wanna, either the grip levels are just way too high and my skill, yeah, my skill's way too low. This guy just pulled over, thank you. All right, let's see. All right, coming into a wet bend just puts the power down so well. Does a real kind of jet noise, roarty, kind of reminds me of an R26, that kind of whistling, whooshing. Yeah. Rev matching's really, really sharp. Let's see. You can feel the back of the car hunker down. So I'm currently in track, which is a 50-50 split. So I suppose it's probably as as safe and as as uh, capable as you could probably have. The gear shift's really nice, very sharp, uh, almost not cheaper in a good good mechanical way. The traction control off button there. I'm not going to press it. It's wet, and this car is brand new. Yeah, very composed. It just does not want to want to move about too much. I think they've just built the car that they want to be uh, very effective. Um, it is fun because it's so capable, but it's not as playful as I imagine, which is probably a good thing because it's so damn quick. You'd have to be going very fast for, re for it to kind of start moving about. Let's whack it back down to second and just chase those revs a little bit. quick enough honestly I know Litchfield are doing 300 horsepower in theirs but I think this this feels every bit as quick as 300 this will give a lot of cars a lot of problems on the road on the track this thing's mega Woo! I want one yeah I've driven some, some capable cars, but this thing out the box is a giant slayer, honestly. Wow. Yeah, fair play Toyota. I don't know why you'd buy a Supra. We're really done. This is, uh, this is better. <laughs> I, I don't know, I'd have this. It's amazing, what a car.